so for our um, small groups that we do, we first give um, reading assessments. So okay. we do two kinds of reading assessments, and that's how we determine how many groups we're going to have as far as the ones that we will be instructing. Okay, now tell me about your the reading assessments. What is the distinction between um, We do PALS, which is phonological awareness. Okay. Um, and that tests um, what parts of words they can read. And so if they, get the blue, if they have the beginning blends already, then we won't waste time working on those. The middle parts of the word, it tests their spelling as well. Okay. Um, and, the other? and then the DRA is the okay. developmental reading assessment. And we do that one um, based, that's more comprehension based. Okay. Um, and it, they read to you on some levels. On um, some levels they read to you and then they go read by themselves and they come back and answer questions. And it's just, it starts all the way, it's just one or two words. Based on the, the level, so whichever level they have, um, coming into second grade, we hope that they're at a level 16. Okay. Um, but we have, I mean, we can have some as low as twos and as high as 38s and 40s. And then we try to keep them around. So um, if they were on grade level, it would be anybody that comes in on a 14 to an 18. We put them in the same group. So you guys have your data, you may or not your data, so you are here. And then we'll make groups. Um, here's a chart. There's, um, we do color groups. They get to pick their color, so it's orange, red, green, and blue. Mm -hmm. Really, the colors only mean stuff to the teachers. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's movable groups, too, so as they move up, they can go to a different group. Okay. Um, and then we take however much time we have during language arts. We have an hour and a half, and we normally spend probably about an hour of that in small groups. Okay. Um, and then this is just the schedule that my class uses. It tells them when they would meet with me, when they would be going to stations, when they would be doing deer time, when they would be at their seats. And what is deer time? Deer time is uh, drop everything and read. So okay. throughout the year, as they're reading in our small groups, mm -hmm. we give them the books that they're already familiar with. And they get to And your teacher didn't call them centers? Y'all call them stations? All right, well, how do you know which um, station station you're going to go to? Um, in the front of the room is like this poster, and two pictures will be there, so like my picture and Richard's pi picture of my partner, and then next to it it will be like, pretend like I'm in word study station for green, and then when Miss Clancy's time of ring, we'll go to blue station, which today was ABC word, and then we'll go to there. Oh, so you're in a different group according to what station you're going into? Yeah. And so you have to look on there and see who you're going in the station with? How many stations do you do a day? Um, two. And what days do you do stations? Monday through Thursday. Not on Friday? No, because we have like all the tests to do. On Friday is testing day? Um, we have writing station. Start of the week station, Miss Clant station, um, writing station, big book station, poppy chart station, writing station, classroom library, ABC word station, nonfiction buttery, fiction buttery read. Emily, buddy read. that's a lot of stations. Yes. All in your classroom, all those different stations. Um, fiction buddy reading, fairy tale, and current events. Okay. Um, I just want to put out And then you can do, I mean, all types of fun things. This mm -hmm. is just another reminder for the kids to know, just to keep them on task. Okay, so, explain to us how this will work. Um, so they would come and get their basket, and they're normally in partners. Sometimes they'll be in threes, but we try to keep them in partners. And this one just says, do not disturb. I have a fiction addiction. Mm -hmm. And then... They would come, put their little hats on, and they would take out their buddy reading I can list. Okay. And these are, we've made this together as a class. So okay. I explained what they would do in buddy reading, and then we decided what they would be able to do. So it says I can choose a book with my partner and read together or take turns. Okay. So they choose, there's two of each book in okay. here. So they each get one. Um, they can echo read. So if there's a stronger reader in the mm -hmm. pair, then they can read first, and the mm -hmm. other one can read right yeah. after them. Mm -hmm. Um they can fill out a buddy reading log sheet, which is um, a sheet, there's a folder mm -hmm. down here at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's going to, yeah. And it just says that they've read three books, the title, the author, 
they mm -hmm. decide which one they liked best. Okay. And this is just to show. And this is one of my favorite graphics. Yes. Graphics. <laughs> we have to see that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> um, and that's just to show that they really did read okay. in groups. So it, so it that's holds like them accountable. Accountable and mm -hmm. documentation and something you can go back and look at. Right. Great. Uh, okay, tell us about this one. What makes this one different from that one? And that one is different. Um, I put, um, this is, this one just says, uh, do not disturb, I'm catching up on the news. Oh, okay. So we just finished um, a Life Cycles mm -hmm. um, unit, and so I just put two nonfiction okay. books that had information about the Life Cycles. Okay. But I also put the mini page calendar for, that oh, comes in the fun. mail. Yeah. I just laminate it and put it in there. Oh, um, that's a great idea. And we normally, we go over, if, every time we have a new one, we'll mm -hmm. talk about it, and I tell them all the things that they're going to figure out in this edition, and then just stick it in there. That is a neat idea. I love that. Um, and there's a whole bunch there. I've also, I save them because um, this one's Life Cycles also, mm -hmm. even though it's from two years ago. But look, science. Yeah. It's science, mm -hmm. it's information. And so that's why this one's different. And then towards the end of the year, once they're used to it, you can mm -hmm. add things like comics and oh, okay. stuff like that. But that's a great idea for a classroom.